What is going on guys? It is Fatal today, bringing you guys a video. We're going to be talking about why is your gaming laptop lagging. Uh, more specifically, we're using the HP Pavilion gaming laptop in this example. So, um, again, why is your gaming laptop lagging? Well, you have to understand first the first uh, kind of things from lag. So, are you lagging in game? Or is the system overall lagging in general? All kinds of stuff like that. There could be two differences in those two scenarios. First things first, I'm going to tell you some ways that you can fix that. So first things first, make sure your charger is always plugged into your laptop. And it's okay if you keep it plugged in even after 100% charge. It's not going to damage your battery in most gaming laptops. This is a normal function that most everyone does, myself included. I've done it for over a year now, and I've almost had this laptop for nearly two years close to it. And I've never had any issues with it. Make sure your battery performance is on high performance as well as while it's plugged into the charger. Next thing you can do is go in your little apps here and make sure that you're clicking out anything that's like I got discord running I'm gonna click that off click that off you know click anything that's running that doesn't need to be running while you're running whatever said game that will like uh, you know if something's downloading on Steam or anything else it can cause your system to overall lag in certain situations alright so the next thing we're gonna be talking about is your uh, graphics drivers so as you can see here um, on if you'll download GeForce experience you can update your graphics drivers. As you can see here, I just downloaded my uh, update for the drivers, and I'm going to express the installation. What this does is it can sometimes, if your drivers are not up to date, it can cause shutters, FPS drops, and it can cause your system to kind of, in a sense, lag. Next thing we're going to be talking about is an Ethernet cord. So as you can see here, an Ethernet cord is very, very useful when gaming. If you're playing online games, especially like Fortnite, Wars, or anything, it has to do with having an internet connection. You want a stable internet connection. You could be lagging just for that alone. So make sure, if you're able to, use an ethernet cord to directly to your router. Even if you have bad internet, this will boost your connection. It will give you a more stable connection and faster download speed at a more rate, at like a normal, normal rate. You're not going to have to worry about fluctuations or anything like that. It's pretty much going to stay on the same constant, uh, pretty good normal rate. That will, again, give you better download speed, better internet connection, and you shouldn't run into, as far as internet lag, at all, on that, uh, on the, as far as that goes, if you have an Ethernet cable. Now, again, you can try Ethernet adapters. There are adapters that you can get. Uh, the adapter inside the laptops, or most laptops, are not very good. So, especially for this one, it's going to be a little slow if you're trying to play with a wireless connection. So, I do recommend using a wired one. And you can get most Ethernet cords at, you know, stores pretty cheap, you know, and run them straight to your router. Links down in the description below, by the way, for the RAM and uh, the laptop in general. Now, what I'm talking about RAM, make sure if you don't have 8 gigabytes of RAM, you're going to want to upgrade to your 16 gigs of RAM. It helps the system overall run faster and better. So this will t uh, typically help your system overall run better games and probably uh, run into less lag, as we're talking about. Um, again, if your laptop is lagging that bad, there could be other issues with it. Um, but those are the main little things that kind of run into lag and as to why you're getting so much lag Also, make sure your systems always going uh, always updated So go to settings click Windows update and make sure your systems always updated after you've updated everything using an Ethernet cord Battery performance is on high and you got the charger on you shouldn't have any issues and you shouldn't run into lag If you have any questions, leave me some comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching